So, you've just started making maps for Dodds, and you don't know how to set up flags. Well, Dodds is a Source Engine game. Mapping is pretty much the same for all Source Engine games, so the only thing you really need to do is work out how to make the uh, flags, and you can get started mapping for Dodds. Right, now, the first and most important part of um, setting up Dodds, or mapping for Dodds, is the master flag entity. So you go uh, make a new entity and you call it a dot control point master. This basically controls all the control points in the map and uh, without this it won't work properly at all. First thing you do is make this. Okay. Now that that's out of the way you can get started making the actual cap zones. This map has three cap zones, but uh, you get the idea of how to do it for as many cap zones as you want. Let's we'll in this. All right. Go and find the trigger texture. All right. Set that as a texture. Now get the block tool and make a box where you want your cap zone to be. Make sure it touches the floor because um, because uh, the player's feet have to be in the box for it to work. So now it's touching the floor. Enter. All right. Now this is your control um, area. This is where the players will stand in, and that'll set the cap off. All right. Now you need to highlight your box and press Control and T. You get this menu. And under the class, you have to type in dodge capture area. Right, now this is just the area that they have to be in. You're not done yet. You might want to change some settings here. Um, number of allies to cap is obviously how many um, allied players there need to be in the zone to cap. And same for access. Time to cap is how long you have to stand in the cap for it to be kept. We'll come back to this later because now we need to make the actual control point. So make an entity where you want the flag to be. Double click on it and call it a dot control point, not control point master. Right, now you will see a flag. Okay. Um, there's a few settings you have to go through with this. Firstly, you want to put a name, so I'm going to call this one Flag1, because it's the first flag. Localized name to print on code. This is the name that will show up in game once you've kept the flag, so it'll say, um, like, you've kept tank, or whatever. So, I'm going to call this, um, Allies Bridge. Right, now... The default owner, you might want to set that, depends on your map. That's just um, who starts with the map, who starts with the uh, control point in their position. Um, this is important as well. Index of this point unique. Because this is the first cat, and I want it to show up as the very first one on the, uh, on the screen, you hit 1, so this is the first cat. Okay? Um, once that's done, you need to go back to your trigger box, double click on it, and under name of the control point this area is linked to, you want to type in flag 1. Right, now that's done. You can set up the rest of your caps. So I'm just going to copy these. Copy them. I'm going to put another cap in the middle here. Right? I'm going to make this cap a two man cap. Now, the settings will have to be different. It's a different cap. So make sure this is touching the ground. Okay, now change the settings. I want this to be a two man cap, so I'm going to put two here. Two allies, two axis. Quite cap. I'm going to keep the time at five seconds. And we'll come back to this later. Now, you need to go to the, go to the flag. Give it a new name. Since this is the second flag, 
or the middle flag, and then pull flag 2. I'm also going to change the group index and the index, oh, yes, the index of this point, not the group index, sorry. The index of this point has to be 2. And I'm going to change the icon. So, under, um, when access control this point, click on that, and then click browse, and you get the text you think. Now type in bridge, because this is a bridge. And you will find the bridge icon. The red ones are for the access, and the green ones are for the allies, obviously. Select that, and the access, when they have this point, that'll show up as the icon. And you want to do the same for the allies. But obviously, you will want to select the green icon. Right. Now that's done. You just need to do the third cap now. This is the axis cap. Oh, sorry. Went the wrong way. Okay. This is the axis cap. So we change the name of. Okay. We want these to be one again. Number of axis cap one. Uh. uh We'll call it flag 3, and then we'll change the name of the control point to flag 3, and the index of this point to 3. Now will show up as the third. We also want to change these back to neutral. And now you have set up your flags. And this will work in game just fine. If you have any problems, just post in the comments.